Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cece. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to engrave on an acrylic with your maker. So let's get started. I'm in Design Space right now and let's go ahead and upload the image that I'm going to use. So let's go to Upload, Upload, then Browse. Find the SVG file that you would like to use and mine is right here. I'm just going to double click and it takes me to this screen. Name the file, put a tag if you like, then click save. Right here, click on the image and then insert. We are now in our workspace, so let's go ahead and go to the left panel and grab a shape. Click on the square and we're going to unlock the shape, which you can do up here or on the bottom left of the square. So I'm going back up here to unlock and resize the shape to three inch in width and six inches in height. I'm using the shape as a reference because that is the size of the acrylic I'm going to engrave with. I'm just going to move the shape up a bit and see how the shape is covering the image. Uh, let me grab the image instead. See how the image is hiding. Let's go to the top panel and click arrange and then send the image to the front. Click on the shape, then on the top panel, click on this gray box in the color palette will show, and you can choose any color you prefer to use. So now I'm just going to move the image on top of the shape, then resize the image. Just keep in mind that you don't want to go over the shape because that is our pretend acrylic, okay? So now let's go to the top panel, and under the line type, I'm going to change the image from cut to engrave. Then click on the shape. You can either just delete it or hide it by clicking on this eye. Then click make it. Now right here it is showing us a preview mat and I'm going to move the image where I need it to be because right down here on the second inch of square is where I would be placing the acrylic. So remember that the acrylic I'm using is three inch in width and then six inches in height. So I just need to make sure that the image is on the center and as you can see that I have more blank space at the bottom just because I am accounting for the space where this acrylic will be inserted. If you have a text image, please do not forget to click mirror. I know I don't have one on this, but I always click mirror on acrylics. It's just a good practice for me. Then let's click continue. Then right here, let's go to browse all materials. Type in acrylic on the search bar and enter. Then choose what is right for you, but I'm choosing thick for my acrylic. Then click done. Right here, you can choose the pressure of the engraving tool or blade, more or less, or stay on default. Then right here, it prompts you what tools and materials that needs to be loaded to your machine. So now I'm just going to prepare my mat and here's my acrylic, which it has plastic on both sides and I'm just going to remove only one side of it. And this is going to be facing up. Then determine where you need to place the acrylic onto the mat. And if you need to go back to your preview screen, please feel free to do so. I'm going to place my acrylic starting on the second inch square onto the mat. Then I'm using my roller to get the acrylic stick onto the mat. And I'm going to use the painter's tape to secure the acrylic, making sure it does not move when the image is being engraved. And also keep in mind that try not to cover where it's going to be engraved. So right here, this is the engraving tools. This is the tip, which it has number 41 on it, and this is the plunger. Just press on the plunger and keep your finger on it, line it up, and insert the tip, and it should lock together. So I'm just going to insert the engraving tool and load the mat into the machine, and then I'm just going to click start. Okay, now that it's done engraving, I'll be unloading the mat from the machine and I'm going to take this back to my table. 
So right here, before I remove the painter's tape, I wanted to show you that you will find some shavings on there. And you can clean that up with painter's tape um, just to get those shavings out of there. Even better, if you have a lint roller, it's another great way to pick those shavings up. I actually saw Carly Hall using it, and I will link her video under the description box. And thank you so much, Carly, for the tip. Then remove the painter's tape and carefully remove the acrylic from the mat. And don't forget to remove the plastic from the other side of the acrylic. And that's it. Alright you guys, if you want to see more, please leave me a comment or give it a like. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys!